The IEST stands for the Institute of Environmental Sciences and Technology. It's a nonprofit uh, or uh, association uh, that uh, that has members that basically work together to develop standards, uh, recommended practices, educational programs to serve the controlled environment community, and uh, it does that through. Uh, conferences and meetings as well as documents and training courses that are offered throughout the year. So there are three institutes within the IEST. The Contamination Control Institute focuses on clean rooms and it's about uh, detection and control and management of clean rooms. So we look at, at all of the aspects of running a clean room, uh, building it, and, uh, and understanding the technical details, whether it's about uh, uh, particular measurements and, and the specific requirements of particular measurements or specifically about garments and how to, what kind of garments to use and how to clean garments. So there's all these standards and recommended practices for contamination control that that institute focuses on. The Test and Reliability Institute is focuses on the design, test, and reliability of products. Uh, these products are tested through either vibration, vibration environments or electromagnetic fields or any other fields that would need to be, uh, uh, any other fields that would bombard that, that, that product with something. Uh, it's usually, if you imagine uh, launching material into space, it, it's subjected to a lot of uh, environmental things that potentially could harm that product. So uh, the space agencies, the uh, government, military government agencies uh, rely on recommended practices from the Test and Reliability Institute to actually understand how to test their products before they're being used. The third institute within the IEST is a Nanotechnology Institute. It's a subject that's close to my heart. It's, it, it focuses really on nanotechnology research and uh, facilities, not only from the design perspective, but also from operating, operating those facilities as well as uh, uh, maintain, maintaining them. And we look at various aspects of nanotechnology. It's really the, the study of atomic scale uh, manipulation and uh, creating new products. So because of that, and the critical tight, tight and tightly controlled environment that are needed for that, for nanotechnology research, require tight control of vibration, electromagnetic fields, and all that kind of stuff. And these standards have not been established before. They, these standards were established before for the clean room industry, which with the, with the adding of nanotechnology research becomes very, very tightly controlled. So the institute develops requirements for uh, tight vibration and, uh, and, and develop standards and guidelines that could be used now and in the future uh, as the technology evolves and the requirements for the research and operating of those facilities uh, are uh, developed. So that's what the Nanotechnology Institute does.